The Macon Transit Authority lifts its mask mandate following a ruling by a federal judge in Florida. 41 NBC's Cameron Branscom has local reaction. Following a ruling made by Florida U.S. District Judge Catherine Mizell, the Macon Transit Authority has lifted its mask mandate. After nearly two years of the mask mandate, drivers and passengers can now choose if they want to wear a mask. According to the Public Information Officer for the North Central Health District, Michael Hawkinson, Georgia currently has a low COVID transmission rate, but suggests those who may be ill or feel ill to wear a mask. So if a person is immunocompromised, if they have an extenuating circumstance, a chronic condition that getting COVID might exacerbate the situation or might lead to um, more severe outcomes of COVID-19, they should definitely take all the measures possible. MTA bus driver Jasmine Fleming says she will not wear a mask. Fleming told me she was surprised to hear the news. Uh, I was pretty shocked. I was shocked. I didn't expect it came so soon, but I was am amazed about it. MTA CEO Craig Ross says he believes that the removal of the mask mandate will cut down on altercations between bus drivers and riders. The longer this is going on, uh, the more issues that we're having uh, with ridership, uh, not wearing masks correctly. Uh, are not wanting to wear them at all. Uh, we've had three of our uh, bus operators to be assaulted. Um, and it's almost a daily issue uh, with somebody. Uber and Delta Airlines have lifted their mandates as well. Delta Airlines released a statement saying, quote, we are relieved to see the U.S. mask mandate lift to facilitate global travel as COVID-19 transitions to a more manageable respiratory virus. In Macon, Cameron Branscombe, 41 NBC News. The White House says it will not challenge the ruling and the CDC still encourages strongly wearing a mask.